Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a week style video again. So I'm just starting off my morning with a morning coffee. I'm currently on uh, Australia Post watch duty. We've got some Christmas presents and things that we've ordered that's getting to deliver that's getting delivered today. So while Nick's in the kitchen making breakfast, I just snuck in, got my coffee, and I'm just on watch until he comes with the breakfast and then I'll go about my day and he'll be on watch for the day. But regardless, so he is making these healthy banana pancakes. I do want to do that as a video. That video will probably be up itself um before this one comes out. So I'll leave that video down below if you want to see how we've made that. Um, and some strawberries on the side. So I'm super excited for breakfast with my diet I am kind of changing it. Oh my gosh, my hair's a mess. I'm like waking up about 20 minutes ago I've not gotten ready But with my diet I've been changing it up again. So this is like trial and error. See if I am losing weight or not um, But yeah Alright, so for lunch today, I'm absolutely starving, so I made myself quite a big salad. So it's lettuce, red onion, cucumber, cheese, chicken thighs, and mayonnaise. The chicken thighs, I put this curry paste on, and the sugar-wise, it's it's pretty good. I only had a tablespoon, and it ended up covering five chicken thighs, and this is just one small chicken thigh cut up in here. So that's going to be my lunch. <laughs> um absolutely starving but oh i'm so excited so at my parents house i had a pork noodle dish an asian dish i can't remember what it's called but it was really tasty um and now it's late at night but we're going to the gym for the first time and i'm hungry so i just am tired normally it's my bedtime it's actually past my normal bedtime but our schedule's just kind of getting changed. So I'm having a nectarine and a coffee so breakfast again this morning i'm having the pancakes that nick made for me Whoop and some strawberries and a coffee that he made for me too. So for my lunch today, I've got the same salad as, as yesterday, except I don't have red onion today, but that's fine. So it's just lettuce, cheese, cucumber, the chicken thighs with that curry paste marinade on it and mayonnaise. So just for a snack, I'm having just one Twiggy stick. So for dinner, I'm just heated up some of the cabbage casserole that, that we had in the freezer. I just popped some cheese on and popped it in the oven and I'm going to have that for my dinner. So as a dessert slash pre-gym energy thing, another white nectarine and a green tea. I have not had a green tea for, I would say like a month. I don't know. I started to really enjoy them and drink them almost every night and then I just stopped. So I'm really excited. This is dropped in so that's why it's all soggy um but i am really excited to have a green tea again and i don't add any sugar in my green tea and then yeah just a nectarine all right so for breakfast today i'm going to be trying this uncle toby's plus cereal so it's the protein one with the oat clusters sultanas and peach and there is sugar where am i up here there is sugar and carbs in here of course but the health star rating is 4.5 so hopefully It'll be okay. Um, so yeah, I just haven't added milk yet. I got myself a homemade iced coffee. So yeah, I will see how this goes. And if I eat it again tomorrow, then you know that I like it. So we'll see. So I didn't end up finishing, well I only had half of my steak sandwich for lunch so I brought it home and now I'm going to have this for my dinner. I'm not going to have like cook up any chips or get any chips or anything, it's just going to be half this sandwich. Alright so kind of as like a second later dinner since the other half a sandwich that was about 3.30ish or 4 o'clock. So I just got a couple of strawberries, some cheese, some ham, a nectarine and a banana. I probably wouldn't eat all of this, but whatever I don't, I'll make sure to eat all the banana, otherwise that will go yucky. But everything else, whatever's left, I'll just wrap it up and probably have it tomorrow. But yeah, this is the later meal slash second dinner slash before gym food. <laughs> and for next dinners, he meal preps his dinners for a whole week. So he's got a little bit of broccoli, some couscous and some... It's supposed to be like spiced chicken, but it's more like a curry flavored chicken, but it's actually really, really good. All right, so for breakfast, this is two strawberries. I was just really big, so I quartered them. Three banana pancakes that Nick made for me. I normally have two, but he made me three this morning. 
and iced coffee that I've already started to drink. That's homemade iced coffee as well, so there's no sugar added in that. So breakfast. Oh, and that cereal yesterday, that was really good. I would have, if it was just myself doing my own breakfast, I would have done it. Um, but because Nick was making these and he offered to make me some, I said, hell yes. So I'm having this instead, not the cereal. But the cereal was still good. Definitely not the best lunch for me. I'm absolutely starving. This was just quick, easy, simple, and sounded really good. So I've just made myself two, you kind of can't really tell, you can see it there. Two Vegemite and cheese toasties on the nine grain bread. I don't mind having bread or toast if it's one or two pieces, but this is works out to be four pieces, which is probably not good, but like I said, it just sounded really, really good. Alrighty, so for dinner tonight, I got some um, sugar-free teriyaki chicken wings that we marinated together and I just had in the freezer. So I roasted them up, some zucchini that I harvested earlier today. Um, I rested it up for the size because I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to do wings and I'm like, I really should eat a green. So that's why I decided to do the zucchini. So because the wings were already almost done, I done it quite small. So it kind of, it's all cooked, um, but it just doesn't look that appetizing because there's no color on it. Otherwise, if I were going to do it the same time as the chicken wings or a little bit after the chicken wings, I would have made it bigger and I would have got color on it. But regardless, it's still going to be delicious. That's my dinner. I saw this foil. I just got a chicken breast that I boiled for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I just prepped that now while this was in the oven. All right, and just for a healthy snack, I just chopped up a banana. So I'm just gonna sit down, lay down. Well, not lay down, but sit down, chill out for a bit, and eat my nana. <laughs> All right, so for breakfast, I got that same cereal with just some low-fat skim milk. All right, and so for lunch, I got some chicken pesto pasta salad so it's just got the shredded chicken that I prepared last night spinach from the garden some red onion um, parmesan cheese the pasta and the pesto jar sauce I do have a video for this as well if you want to see that but this one definitely doesn't look as nice because it's just plain pasta it was definitely a lot nicer last time like the look of it with the colored pasta but it's still delicious All right, and my usual breakfast for this week, a couple of strawberries and two banana pancakes. I was actually hoping to share the recipe for the banana pancakes in this video, um, but we just already made some in bulk. Nick can only make some too, but I'll definitely show it in a future upcoming video somewhere. For lunch, I got some leftover of the pesto pasta salad. This is the last of the batch. Nick ended up having some today and tomorrow for lunch as well, so that was great. And I have no idea what's happening for dinner, so that's going to be kind of interesting. So I popped to mum's not that long ago, and she had got this bag for freeze-dried fruit, I believe from Costco, I think. If I'm wrong, I'll put where she actually brought it from. So we tried it. It's actually, well, they didn't really like it. That's why I ended up coming home with the bag. I really liked it. So here you can see is the strawberries. So they do the strawberries in whole. Um, the more pale one, I believe, was the apple. The more yellow one is the peach slices. So yeah, I actually really did enjoy this. All right, and so for dinner, we got some asparagus and some zucchini from the garden that, no, not the asparagus, the zucchinis from the garden, asparagus from the store that we just fried up and a homemade chicken schnitzel. So it's pretty much just one chicken breast butterflied but and just like one half or not even butterfly but like slice and half long ways or yeah the way you'd butterfly chicken breast but then just cut it again um it, the chicken breast they were like half a kilo chicken breast are massive so i'm only having the one i'm having a glass of lemonade with it i don't even know if i'm gonna eat all of this and my other half i'm gonna save for lunch tomorrow not my chicken all right, so we just came back home from the gym maybe about 20, 30 minutes ago, and I am starved. Well, I'm not starving, but I'm definitely hungry. So I'm going to have a late night snack, a banana. And for lunch today, I'm going to have the leftover chicken snitty. And for my dinner tonight, I got some Swedish meatballs with mashed potato and cranberry sauce from the freezer. So this is my last meatball meal. The cranberry sauce definitely isn't the best, but it just is so yum. And that's the last that we had in the jar as well. Um, and... Yeah, so I definitely do want to make meatballs very soon. Don't know if I do Swedish or not because I don't really want mashed potato much. But just because I already made this before diet, I did want to eat these meals. 
but yeah I do like the convenience of having meatballs in the freezer as a meal so we'll figure something out for us in the near future to make there but yeah it's absolutely delicious and I do have a video where I shared where we made this together I believe as like a big frozen batch plus also it's standalone recipe so I'll leave both of those videos in the description if you would like to have a look all right so for breakfast obviously me iced coffee and I got two slices I've already started eating um two slices of nine grain bread that I toasted with butter and Vegemite I used to pop to the shops because I needed milk for my iced coffee this morning. So I got up some blackberries, some salami, some ham and a cucumber. We got cheese. So we're just going to do some kind of nibble plate for lunch. And then for dinner, Nick wanted his chicken broccoli. <laughs> He's riding so messy. So that's his chicken and broccoli. I hate how he doesn't date it. That's one of my pet peeves, but whatever. Um... It wasn't that long ago though so yeah he's having one of his chicken and broccoli casserole meals i'm having my cabbage roll casserole meal so that's our dinner sorted so this pretty much wraps some so this pretty much sums up today's video thank you so much for watching just before i end it i will let you know that from today weighing myself i've officially hit the nine kilo lost um like perfectly on the dot this past week with the meals that you've seen me eat I have lost 1.6 kilo which is actually really good for me. Generally I would lose anywhere from like 0.8 to maybe 1.2. I've noticed it's kind of been steady the last few weeks. When I very first started this I was losing like 2 kilos and then it was like 1.8 and then another 2 kilo. But then it did definitely drop down so I don't know what is really different. I have been eating more carbs this week than others. So I don't know if it's the fact that we have joined up a gym and we've gone every day so far since we have joined. I don't know um but yeah I think after Christmas and New Year I'm going to try and lower my carb intake even more but until then I'm going to be enjoying my carbs but we'll see so I do want to say thank you as well for the encouraging words and support in my last video and obviously to my parents and Nick and everyone in my day-to-day -day life that does support me as well in this journey nick is incredible he's losing weight and turning muscle as well i don't even know what he's up to he's lost a lot really quickly too which but he does look good but yeah for this video that's pretty much all thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe down below so you don't miss out my future videos and i think coming into this season I do want to do some baking, some Christmas baking, which obviously I'm going to taste this and try. And then Christmas and New Year's, I'm not limiting myself for that. I'm just going to enjoy time with family, enjoy the food with family. But coming into the new year, that's when I reckon we'll head, hit it heavy again and we'll see how things go. So I'll probably do. So I'll probably do another one of these kind of videos in the new year sometime. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.